it's a town with a lot of personality. People enjoy living here, and I do. It's just a beautiful place. It's on the river. It's on the River Derwent. It's a cracking spot. It's still got the character of a small town, you know, even almost village-like, you know, everybody knows each other. Lots to come and visit, uh, lots of things to see, a good day out for people, a good chance to look at the mills and up at the churches, the old chapel. So it's a, it's a good day and lots of good places to eat as well, so a good place to come. It is the place where so much started from. This is the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. With it having been a mill town and having the big mill, which is so impressive, um, and all the mill workers' cottages, you can kind of imagine it as it, as it was, um, yet come and see it as, as it is today and see the heritage, and it's just an interesting place to visit. I love the fact there are so many open spaces that within five minutes' walk, you're actually out in the countryside, or you can actually just, again, within the same time frame, you're within shops. It's just everything you need. I think Belper is a very friendly place, it's got a good community here and I think the nice thing with Belper is it's a little bit different to other places so our high street doesn't just have the regular shops like everyone else, we've got some great little places. Fresh Basil is a very different shop, we're a very small independent retailer, we're a delicatessen with an eatery on the side. All the produce we serve within the shop is available to buy within the delicatessen. You're very welcome to come in and taste whatever we have to offer. We believe our customers should try our produce before they buy it. I think um, because we're a family owned business and we, we source everything ourselves and we've got our own menus, we're not guarded by anybody. It's a nice place to eat and drink wine and just come along with your friends. We make all our own, um, all our own food from from scratch, we use uh, local suppliers, we use fresh and fruity, which are on the high street, uh, liquid treasure, which is next door to us, we, we use for wines. Um, so, you know, we try and use all, all local produce to make, um, to make fresh, nice food. What makes it unique is the handmade chocolates, that is our unique selling point of, of Asher Cocoa. They're all freshly made for, uh, just around the corner in my own little workshop that I've got. It's the, and it's the different flavours, we do flavours like Guinness and Marmite, peanut butter and jam, so the flavours that you can't necessarily get in a, in a more traditional outlet. It's, a, it's quite a large town, but it's got that village feeling. Yeah. Definitely. Community. It's lovely. Belfast have a lot of people that have come into the town from outside, you know, and more and more of them, you speak to them, they're getting involved in the community and they like the community uh, atmosphere that's around the town. Everybody comes together for these events and joins in and people of all ages, um, from all backgrounds from different areas that have come together um, and it just is a very friendly and welcoming place. Yeah. My friends have moved to Belper, who are artists and musicians. I suggested to a friend that I would like to do an open house. She said yes, and before we knew it, last year, we had 23 artists and makers and 13 venues, and this year we've doubled. <laughs> we've got a real earthy quality of people sort of coming together as a community and caring about each other and what happens here. Well, we've had open gardens and it's for a good cause, the community centre at the Struts and the people who've taken part and the people who've come think it's a marvellous idea. There's so many places you can just wander around and enjoy the atmosphere. The town still has a real sense of place. It really feels to me very special and somewhere well worth coming to see and enjoy.